Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on this look. This is basically the look I posted on Instagram two days ago or yesterday, whenever this video goes up two days before. I posted this look and I asked if you guys wanted to see this look as a tutorial and a lot of you said yes. So this is basically the recreation of that look. Alright, so first of all, we're going to start off with our eyes. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that all over my lid. And blend that out with my finger as I find that blending it out with my finger turns out better than with an actual brush. Now using a blending brush, I'm going to grab the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons and the color Mocha and apply that on the crease and a little bit over as a transition shade. After we finish blending with that, I'm going to take the color Bordeaux, or I'm not sure how do you say that, and I'm going to apply that on my crease to really define it, and on the outer V, basically to get a very dark outer V. Then make sure you blend that out so it can all look even, if not it's going to look very very harsh and we don't want that. Next, taking the Kathleen Light where the night is quad, I'm gonna take the Weenie shade and apply that with my finger all over my lid, but not passing the outer part where we applied the dark shadow just because we don't want to cover that up and to erase the harsh lines just take any blending brush and blend it out and since the color does diffuse a little bit go ahead and add more until you are completely satisfied with the amount of shimmer on it. Next, taking my mascara and the Benefit The Real Mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and apply that only on my top lashes because I'm gonna be applying the bottom lashes one after I do my bottom Alright, and now we're going to prime our face with the Laura Mercer Hydrating Primer. I'm going to make sure that it's very, very moisturized as this is a hydrating. And I'm going to be using as a foundation today my Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation. This is my new go-to. I find that this formula is way better than the actual liquid one, but then again, that can be only my opinion. I find it very full coverage, and now taking a Morphe four, M439 brush, I'm going to blend that out. I find that when you blend this foundation out with the brush, it looks more flawless rather than when you're trying to blend it with a sponge, and I like that full coverage. Make sure you get really close to your hairline because sometimes people forget to go a little bit on their hairline and it looks very unnatural. Okay, and now taking the MAC Concealer in Light Boost, I'm going to use this as a highlighter. Now 
make sure to apply that under your eyes in a triangle form and then apply it on the bridge of your nose, on your forehead, and on your cupid's bow. Also make sure your lines are straight on your nose because then it's going to look like you have a crooked nose. Now taking my Morphe G3 brush, I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. This is my new go-to concealer brush. Honestly, this brush is like the concealer god brush, if that makes any sense. And now taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Kit, I'm going to take the yellow shade and the lightest one and apply that under the eyes just to set it because if not it will crease and we don't want any creasing we want a flawless face that's our goal and now going back with weenie I'm gonna apply that in the inner corner And I'm gonna go back with the two with the darkest shade and apply that on the outer part of the lower lash line. And now we're gonna coat our lower lashes with the same mascara, the Benefit the Real. I find that with this mascara, it's really lengthening my lashes. I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but. I find that my lashes are a tad bit longer. And now I'm gonna do my brows. Brows basically everyone does them differently so I'm just gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wiz and fill them in how I normally do. Make sure to use your, your spoolie very constantly to blend out the product. And now, going back with the Kat Von D Contour Kit, I am going to contour. And I'm going to be using a Morph brush as well. And I'm going to take the two lightest shades and just really define the hollows of my cheek. I'm actually really liking this brush it's a new one that I barely bought and I am not sure what it's called at this moment I don't have it on me but I'll go ahead and list it down below I find that this brush makes it more defined and I'm just taking my real techniques bold metals brush in the number 100 to blend it all out and to add contour on my forehead. And now taking my go-to blush is the MAC Cheek Pollen. This is a new one from the MAC Fairy Whispers collection and it is my go to. I'm telling you, if you like warm blushes, this is a must have. And now taking the NYX Trey Jolie Waterline Liner, I'm going to apply that on my lower 
It's on my waterline. Duh. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> what? Getting carried away. Use a brush because when you just try to do it with your hand, you might take off the product. And now to add a liquid highlighter, I'm using the Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector in Opal just to add a base highlight. Right now, using the Kathleen ColourPop Libby Pencil Collection in Taurus, I'm gonna go ahead and outline my lips to my desired shade. Shade? Shape. Duh, that's what I meant. Shape. I love how creamy these lip pencils are. Honestly, I'm gonna go and buy like 20 more because. These are the creamiest lip pencils that I have ever tried, and they're so inexpensive. Now taking the lippy stick, I'm going to go ahead and apply that over the lip pencil. And now, back to highlighting. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Illuminator. And I am going to just highlight my life away. I am going to glow like a disco ball. We're going to be flaking in like three seconds. You see the highlight? Highlight on fleek. For real. Alright, and make sure you set everything with a setting spray and I use the Max Fix Plus. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See ya!